Hi everyone, welcome back to Dynamics 5 Academy YouTube channel. So Dynamics 5 Academy brings you a video course on Dynamics 5, Power Platform, Azure and Microsoft 365. So in this video, we are going to talk about what is a personal dashboard and how we can utilize them. And we'll also be looking at how we can create a new personal dashboards in the customer engagement application. So personal dashboards are basically the dashboards created by the individual users other than the system admin. Normally it is the system administrators who create the dashboard within the system and only they can configure them. What it means is only the system administrators or anyone with the similar privileges can create dashboards within the system or they can or they are the one who can configure it. But individual users can also create dashboard. These are known as personal dashboards. So once a personal dashboard is created, it will be available only to that individual user. He or she can just customize it, add more components to it, or they can just share it with other users. They can even assign that with their team as well. So I'll be sharing my screen and show you where we can access the personal dashboards that belong to you and also how you can create a new personal dashboard within the application. So stay tuned. So in this video, we're going to talk about personal dashboards in Dynamics for customer engagement. So we will look at what is a personal dashboard or in a different way I would say what is a user dashboard, what are the different components of it and how a user dashboard is different from a system dashboard. For your information, I have made another video on system dashboard in detail. So I'll also give the link of that video in the description of this particular video so you can watch that as well. So a personal dashboard is nothing but an individual dashboard created by a CRM user so that he can use it his own or he or she can share that with his colleagues. While a system dashboard is a dashboard created by the admin, only by the admins and he or she will share that with the colleagues. It will be available to everyone. So I can call a personal dashboard as a user dashboard. Also, I can call a system dashboard as a public dashboard. So again, a user dashboard can be created and managed by an individual or it can be shared with others, just like any other CRM record. Now, how we can create a personal dashboard? Before getting into creation part, let's have a look at where we can access the personal dashboard. So here I am in my Dynamics 5 customer engagement application. So I can see the dashboards area over here. So I have selected sales app over here, very similar to that if I select customer service, then also I'll be able to see the list of dashboards belong to that particular application. So I'll just go back to sales or service over here, go to dashboards, then I'll be able to see the list of dashboards over here. So these are nothing but public dashboards. Now, if you want to deal with a personal dashboard, what you have to do is you just have to come here. So you get two options over here. One is Dynamics for dashboard. Other one is Power BI dashboard. So if you want to create a new personal dashboard, this is the option we have to use it. So we'll look into that. If I'm going to access the list of dashboard that I have over here. So you can see here, these are all the list system dashboard. These are not personal dashboard. So I just need to try to create a new one. Click new and click on Dynamics for dashboard. So this layout, which what you are seeing here is pretty much the same as a system dashboard. So I'm to select the layout first, any layout suitable to your requirement. So I'm just going to use one, which is simple, a similar option I have selected. Now the rest of the options are pretty much the same as creating a system dashboard. So I would highly recommend you to go through the other video, which I have created on system dashboards in Dynamics for customer engagement. So these are options are all the same. The only difference is the way the users use a personal dashboard or a system dashboard. So I'm going to give an option over here like sales performance dashboard individual. I believe there is another dashboard with the same name available in the system. That's why I mentioned individual at the end. Click save. That means a new dashboard has been created. Now you can see the tabs and sections. There are four sections. So let me see how I can fill this up. So I just select an entity over here. It can be something like leads. Then I need to select the view. And then I need to select the chart. So I'm going to select leads by owner. That's the first one. Then I'm going to add another chart, which is which will be based on leads but this time i'm going to select leads by rating okay third one i'm going to select 
a web service or iframe we can call, select any component so you can see there are six components over here in a system dashboard you get only five components such as charts list assistant then iframe web resource these are the five components available and in this one in a personal dashboard you get one additional which is nothing but the power bi so if you want to add a power bi report to the dashboard or in, in fact adding a power bi dashboard over here you just need to configure that plus you should have the license to power bi so uh, i'm not going to talk about it at this moment but yes i do have other another video on creating dashboards using power bi as well as how to embed a power bi report into your dynamics fire dashboard so i would recommend you to watch that video as well and then i can keep adding the different components over here i can select uh, views or charts and keep on going and keep on doing that so i'm not going to spend too much time creating all these comments i'm just going to add uh, opportunities over here i'm sorry opportunity anytime i'm going to select here then select my open opportunities over here or i would say all the open opportunities and click okay so view has added over here and i have added chart chart and then a view i'm going to add a web resource over here so i'm going to select a web resource look up for more records and then i will select an image that is what i can select or an html file either of this i'm going to select an html file and then click html and click ok and then i click ok again so there will be a web resource will be displayed over here which is not rendered at this moment once i save and publish it it will be all right so i haven't changed much on the layout part there are four small columns then there is a big column where i have added a view and then i just save it close the designer all right so now i can see my dashboards over here so here i can see it where there you go so i haven't had any personal dashboard before until i create one so now you can see system dashboard these are nothing but the dashboard created by your system admin which is available to you and everyone i am the admin for the system so i can see all of them and then there is another section called my dashboard section that is where you will be able to see your personal dashboard so i have created only one now now if i am going to create another one the same way i have done i'll be able to see multiple over here so this is the same window where you can see all of them now i have other options like save as option so if i just need to copy this particular dashboard into something else i would say like team based i'm going to make some changes so performance for teams i can configure to enable this for mobile as well so i have just cloned existing dashboard for teams as well so now i got two you can, you can see it here right now i have the option to delete it as well you might have noticed it i have the option to delete the dashboard i'm not going to do that now i can set this one as the default one which one the one i have selected click this as the default one now i'm giving the option clear default so every time when i'm just refreshing my page and open this app what i'm going to see here the sales performance dashboard individual would be my default one unless i clear this one i believe it is very clear now other important option available to you is the share dashboard and assign dashboard option this is pretty useful now this is a personal dashboard that is created under my name it is not available to anyone else that's why it's called a user dashboard or personal dashboard now i can share this with my colleagues so i just need to add a user or team over here i can select my uh, users over here active users in my system i'm just going to select some users over here i have selected three users click add now i can set, now i can configure it what they can do they can just read or view it or they can just write that means update or they can delete it depends upon what i should give to them a say or share if i give share option to them they can share this with their colleagues or their anyone they want to so you have to give that very carefully uh, so any point in time if you want to change this sharing option you can come back here to your dashboard and then you can make the changes so this is your property 
unless you share this with anyone else right so come back here to the share option now you can see everything is saved over here it's pretty useful pretty cool then i just share it i can change it i can remove it anything i can do so once i share a set of dashboard with a set of colleagues and then i realize that they don't need it anymore i can just unshare that with them by going here and remove them all of them one by one over here or change the change the configuration or and they can just uh, get it back then i have an assign option so i am the owner of this particular user dashboard now now if you feel like you need to assign it to someone else for example the system admin anything like that so you can assign it so i can assign to user or team if it is a user or team i can select the user i'm going to select a team over here ito team and just assign it so that means this dashboard is going to be assigned to that particular new team so there are some privilege issues over here so because of that the ownership didn't change so these are the options available here except one more remaining which is edit which is pretty simple right you can just edit the dashboard right from within your dashboard or on your main window this is where it is you can just customize and change it so this is only available for you then you can change it so anytime when you make the changes and if you don't see it you can have the option to refresh it as well so pretty much i have covered everything related to creating a personal dashboard in your customer engagement application we have seen how to create a new one how to make it default how to clear the default how to delete it how to share and assign it pretty much everything you have seen it right so this is how you create and manage a personal dashboard just to summarize in this video we have seen what is a personal dashboard is and how it is different from a system dashboard and then how we can create and manage a personal dashboard i believe this video is quite useful to you and if you have any questions you can mention that in the comment box below thank for watching have a great day